So uh, welcome to Night Hiking at the Java Day Tokyo. And my guest uh, is uh, well known as uh, at Bitterfox yes. on Twitter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and your real name is? <laughs> my name is Shinya Yoshida. Welcome, Shio. Yeah. Shio. <laughs> Shinya. <laughs> Shinya. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So uh, you um, you are a contributor uh, on the Java Nine, on yes. the OpenJDK, yes. and especially on the uh, on, on the, the J Shell. J Shell. Yeah. We and you have a demo ready for us. Yes. So or some slides first, right? I have the demo. Oh, yeah. okay. Ah. Thanks. Yes. So. So the J Shell is a repo tool for Java language. Mm -hmm. Which means uh, we can uh, learn the snippet of Java code easily. For example, we can write the sum of expression, and we can get the answer for this expression. So this is the Japanese version, but that's actually the J Shell tool, right? That you're yes. demoing. Okay. Mm. Good. And you can also declare some kind of function mm -hmm. in the JShell, and you can you can use it. So we can the make the some prototype or check the API or new language feature in using JShell. It makes the very easy. Okay. Yeah. So so remind me, so it's now part of the early build, right? Of yes. Java 9 early build. So yes. anybody downloaded a build, uh, Java 9 build today, sure. will have the tool yes. already. Yes. Uh, will download the tool as well. Yes. The gesture is in the JDK and in the directory bin. Mm -hmm. So we download it and the run the Okay, so yes, then the type the J share, so okay. the J share will be okay. execute. Cool. Yeah. Any other um, any other demos you wanted to yes. that you wanted to show us? Yes, J share is actually very useful tool, but unfortunately we cannot try the Java FX. For example, uh, FX. Let's try the j the Java FX in J share. The making the window. Unfortunately, the exception or error are wrong. Mm -hmm. So I developed the another tool for in the J share, which is the JFX shell. Using this tool, you can the try the Java FX. Let me try it. This is the JFX shell, and the all of the package of J Java FX are already imported. So you can type the stage. Okay. So how did you get the? So it's you said it's on GitHub, right? Uh, Bitbucket. Oh, Bitbucket. Yeah, Sorry. you can find it on the Bitbucket. Okay. And you can please type the uh, JFX shell to okay. find it. Perfect. Probably you can find it very easy. So using the JFX shell, you mm -hmm. can try the Java FX very easily. Okay. Let me uh, let's make the web browser using okay. the JFX shell. The web view is uh, the uh, web view is uh, Java br uh, browser, mm -hmm. and let's make the another stage, and. This is already the 
uh, works as browser. Mm -hmm. Let's connect to the OpenJDK page. Yes, okay. we can make the browser using JFX shell. I see. Yeah. And you can uh, uh, modify mm -hmm. the kind, uh, the state of the window. So you can use the behavior mm -hmm. if I run the, uh, this snippet or another snippet. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a. Uh, so you can test and uh, so you can test URLs and it will load. You can test also like uh, interfaces. Yes, sure. Okay. We can declare the some of the another API at here, okay. and we can make the prototype mm -hmm. of the one of product. So anything that you would do with the regular J shell, uh, you can do it also with JavaFX code, basically. That's pretty neat. Another interesting the demo is the uh, uh, Jeshel have the API to execute some of code, so we can try the use the that API on the Jeshel. Okay. So it's little bit meta. <laughs> so to use the Jeshel API. We need to import JDK JShell and let's create the JShell object. Hmm. And uh, we call the JShell eBar with the uh, sum of snippet. We can get the. We could execute the this code mm -hmm. on the another JShell, on the another JShell API, and we can get the value of this expression. So, which means you can use the you can use the JShell <laughs> API, and you can develop the uh, product which is execute some of Java code. Mm. So basically you could use, instead of just uh, using the whole tool, you can mm -hmm. just use the API and then integrate it into a different tool yes, or application. Yes, sure, sure. Very, wow. So in future, probably the NetBeans support that are uh, using the JSHR API and you can use uh, this feature on the NetBeans or something as a tool. That's right, right. Yeah, so that makes really like your yes. programming and testing like a lot easier. Yes. That's pretty neat. And so um so you are a committer to the Ye project already, yes. right? So how how is your experience um working on uh, with uh, people around the world because I think yeah. you're just the only person from Japan, right? It is very very difficult to the uh collaborate with the other people overseas mm -hmm. because I don't know I, I I don't know the 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 lure of the mailing in English uh -huh. so it is very difficult <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well you, you seem to be very I mean doing very well mm -hmm. uh, for sure <laughs> so <laughs> I wouldn't worry about rules yes. really <laughs> when I first uh, when I my first contribution is the I was the third grade of high school student, so it was very hard to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> well, so congratulations because Thank that's you. not <laughs> <laughs> that's not easy. <laughs> very few of uh, commuters actually start that young. Yeah. So and I think you are the youngest. Uh, right now on OpenJDK probably. Yes, probably. Or one, yeah, one yes. of the youngest at least, yeah. 
Anything else you want to show the mm. people? No? Almost done. Uh, let me uh, uh, show the tool, which is extension of JShare. Yeah. This is very useful. This tool is developed by the Japanese. Uh, the name is Kawashima-san. Mm -hmm. You can find this tool on the GitHub. And this tool can try the Maven artifact very easily. The using the command, resolve command, and you can download the artifact from the Maven central repository. And already at, at the, and you can try the API or library mm -hmm. in the Maven artifact. Yeah. Cool. So, and y have you tried it? Yes. It works well. Yeah, but you need the uh, internet, so uh -huh. <laughs> oh <laughs> I, yes, I don't and have that. Right. Yeah. There is no internet. Yes. Uh, Wi-Fi. So. Yeah. Unless you want to switch computers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. would you like to do like a quick demo about um, like a like uh, here? If you had yeah, if you had internet, well or. Let me try. Uh. Oh, but you would need your computer. There is no internet on your computer, but on this machine there would be internet. But maybe I using the tethering. Probably I can try the small. Okay, a small test. demo. Yeah. So let's try the. Uh, Hi. We're working on a new demo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But we don't have internet. Oh. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well. So you're not able to find the right. Okay. <laughs> so first we have to find the internet, and then we can download. Yeah, I can. I can. I can use this. <laughs> I add the uh, JSOAP mm -hmm. artifact, which is. Uh, API uh, library to use the uh, web scraping. Mm -hmm. So using this, I can uh, download uh, some of an artifact. Yes, I can try the well scraping. Oh, that doesn't sound official. So. Let's let's check the HTML file of the OpenJDK page. <laughs> yes, this is OpenJDK page, oh. and as you can see, we can easily to download the artifact from Maven Central repository. And we can use the library mm -hmm. on the right. Yes, and it works. We just tested it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. for showing us all those tricks yes. and talking about uh, Rebel mm -hmm. and J Shell. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you so much.